Well, me and Kobe are, or Kobe and I, I and Kobe, I'm eating chocolate as well, I'm afraid of it. I don't know if anyone's ever tasted these, they're called Risins. Oh my god, they're lovely. But, um, we're at Tottenham Hall, as you can read. And, uh, big shopping area. Not many people have got their face masks on. In fact, hardly anyone's got a face mask on. Which is nice to see. Social distancing outside the shops. But just as soon as you get inside the shop, that's out the window. I've just been in Poundland. Spent £40 in Poundland. That's not hard to do, is it? And, uh, the day to day. Oh look, I've seen some people in masks. I actually genuinely haven't seen many people in masks. As soon as I start saying that, everyone starts turning up here in a mask. She would have loved to have met you actually. <laughs> right. Most people ain't got a mask on. <clears throat> I want you to go into a PC world, but is too big. TK Max, I never go in there. Real close. Did think to go there but can't be bothered. The food warehouse, don't need to go there. Uh, yeah. I'm wanting a cigarette now. I love the cigarettes at home. Well, I'm eating these sweets. I'm all right, lines of them. So the follow-on from yesterday. Well, the follow-on was the tenancy. The one that manages the block contacted me. I explained to him my dog and service dog. I'm not locking it in another room. He spoke to the company that's checking the fire alarms, made arrangements for them coming back on Tuesday morning, and he's going to be there, so that's okay. Then this morning, because um, after the chap had left at the front door, refusing to come in, I phoned the company, and as you see, the He'd phoned them, so I've got this young lady on the phone who's being rude to me, put the phone down on me. So I phoned her back and I explained to her that I'm now recording the conversation because by law I have to tell her that. And she ranted and raved and slammed the phone down again. And that happened ten times. And I was trying to ask her if I could speak to the manager or to get one to phone me back. Anyway, eventually she phoned me back and said that her manager would be phoning me. And then this morning, hand delivered, a letter came through the door, a big threatening letter. Oh, you're breaking your tenancy. Because this is what they do, they try and frighten people. It's not so easy to frighten me. You're breaking your tenancy rules. Uh, we can take you to court and then break the door down to come in to the fire alarm thing. Well, do you know what? First of all, to take me to court, that could take you. We're in COVID time. That could take you 18 months. It could take you 18 months. I'm not. Apart from that, I've got a video to show that I've never refused to let you in. So, they just send these threatening letters out, yeah. Knowing that loads of people get frightened. But I don't. So, being she's been so awkward, and the bloke's been so awkward, when they turn up and shoot, 
Oh, sorry, I'm eating these toffees. When they turn up on Tuesday, I'm going to insist that no one comes in until they've got a clean out of the packet, fresh, disposable overalls. Because if during COVID time, we're all being told we've got to queue up outside and wear masks and distance ourselves, and people getting arrested, and we're constantly told that hundreds and hundreds of people, or thousands of people are dying, but no one I know has died. And everyone that I speak to, I say, do you know anyone that's died? And they go, no, I don't know. I'm... So, uh... Oh, it's on video, huh? <laughs> so, people just threw their rubbish out of the car, as you can see. Right. What do people care? So, anyway. That's Tottenham. That's people throwing their rubbish out of the car. People without masks on. Yeah. I see that Serbia have uh, had big riots because they're refusing to go back into lockdown. Um, got a very Jewish community here. That Jewish man's parking in a disabled bay. Wonder if anyone's disabled. There's a registration of that car that just threw rubbish. Oh no, she picked it up. That was good, she picked it up. She picked up her rubbish. That was good of her. Oh, that she picked her rubbish up. I wonder if that was because I was videoing. And I don't think these are Jewish people. There's a lot of Jewish people, strict Jewish people. Oh no, it's not disabled, it's for people with children. That's what I'm at. Not that I'll give a damn anyway, really. So that's it. I've got loads of my sweeties. Time for me to go now. So. Speak to you later. Love you lots. Love you so much more. Kobe's enjoying his day out of the car. He likes going out of the car. And, uh, bye bye. Say bye bye, Kobe. <laughs>